Texas House Democrats have successfully blocked debate on a bill to ban gender transition health care for minors twice now, but tonight it's back on the calendar for a third time. Our Capitol correspondent Monica Madden reports on the possible legal fights ahead. Marching to the Texas Capitol Friday. Shut it down! LGBTQ rights protesters ready for round three. Trans Protesting Senate Bill 14, which seeks to ban gender transitioning surgery or medication for Texas minors. This is going to in impact them not only with that direct health care, but their mental health. Right? Suicide rates are going to increase and that is going to be on their hands. There is no high quality scientific evidence that puberty blockers, cross sex hormone therapy or surgery helps children overcome gender dysphoria. Despite attempts to block this bill, groups on both sides are gearing up for legal challenges in anticipation of it becoming law, something that's already playing out in other states. Matt Sharp is one of those attorneys defending states like Alabama and Arkansas, which faced lawsuits after enacting similar legislation. States have the authority to regulate doctors. This is not telling parents what they can and cannot do. This is rather regulating the medical profession. LGBTQ advocates say either way, they're ready to keep up their fight. We have a lot of partners uh, in the legal system. They're going to be fighting this. and We're happy to continue to show up so long as this uh, kills the bill. Monica Madden, KXAN News. Now, the House actually got to debate on the bill this time after two unsuccessful attempts by Democrats to stall it. Debate is still going on, and lawmakers tell us they expect it to be a really long night.